Hi boys and girls. Science! So this is just a little bit more information about a friend of mine that I have here. This is a beaver. And so beaver is going to be on your unit 2 test. So I just wanted to review a little bit. You'll notice it also pertains to the review that we did on the end of the unit 2 chapter that we um, that I sent to you this morning. So I'm going to review the parts of a beaver and then I'm going to be sending you a worksheet about that and it should be pretty fun. So let me show you how God has designed this incredible animal. First of all, um, God made this animal to be able to change how our environment looks. When you have a stream, what a beaver does is he makes the land around the stream much more um, able to grow plants because he's going to make the water spread out and all the rich nutrients that are in the water are going to go into the soil. So the way that the beaver does that is by building a lodge in the middle of a stream and creating a pond. So God made this animal very special. One of the special ways God made the beaver is he gave them this very nice flat tail. And this flat tail serves many purposes, but one of the important purposes is it helps him to swim. And as you'll remember from reading the chapter, a beaver is a very fast swimmer. Not a fast runner, but a very fast swimmer. The other thing is that a beaver has to be able to pull heavy loads through the water. So being a good swimmer is really important to a beaver. So what the beaver does first is he makes, he builds with a... Um, with his sharp, chiseled teeth, he cuts down trees. God gave him these special teeth. And when you watch the video that's attached to the PowerPoint about Unit 2 Science, it's going to have some interesting things about chisels, what a chisel is, and how a chisel is used to carve wood. So God gave this animal chisel-like teeth. And so the beaver is able to cut down trees. And then he has to drag those heavy trees through the water. So he has this tail to help him swim. But he also has these webbed feet. So the webbed feet are very important to help him to be able to be a fast swimmer. Um, he also has sharp claws. And the sharp claws are good for digging because one of the things that a beaver has to do is he has to have mud. So he digs around the pond and he gets that wet mud and that helps him to build his lodge. Very important. Okay, so the beaver is an important animal that God created with a very specific purpose. And um, the last thing I wanted to tell you about that flat tail, as you know, the beaver uses that tail and he slaps the water very, very rapidly and it makes a really loud sound, almost like a gunshot. And so that's a warning sound for other beavers if there's danger. And so then the other beavers hear that and they're able to jump in the water and swim quickly away, probably swim into the lodge in their secret pathway so that they'll be able to be safe. Safe from other animals, safe from other danger. So God has made the beaver to be a very special animal. And I'm so glad I was able to use this model of a beaver for you today. And that helps you. And I was able to borrow this from my friend, Mrs. Beaver. Because I figured she would have one of these. So, you will be receiving the test for Unit 2 on the exchange day, which is the end of this week. Friday, I believe. And then you can take the test after you're ready. Um, the PowerPoint is on RenWeb. If you need it, let me know. I can send it to you. And then when you're ready, take the test. And then, as you know, we're going on with the very next part of science, which is all about insects. So when we um, film, we're going to film another science video for tomorrow that is all about insects. And I hope you enjoy that and you have your science textbook so you can be reading that. If you have any questions at all, just let me know. 
science. I love science because it's really about God and it's about how he made this world so incredibly unique and how everything has a purpose. Just like you, you, and me. We have a purpose too and it's all good. Okay, bye.